Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I am in Williamsburg and I will be talking about the DJI Smart Controller. This is one of those accessories that you wonder, should you buy at the price point that it comes in? Now, you know, the great thing about the Smart Controller is that you don't have to worry about your cell phone being fully charged. You don't have to worry about if you receive a phone call, is someone going to interrupt your flight? If your app crashes mid-flight with your iPhone or Android phone, um, you know, is it going to disturb your flight or even put you at risk as you fly? I've owned this smart controller now for about about a year now, I would say, uh, maybe closer to eight months. And at first I thought that, hey, this is too much for this controller. Why do I need a smart controller? when I have a regular controller and my tablet and iPad on my phone. But after owning this for you know the last few months, eight months I would say, this has become my go-to device with my drone. Now you may be wondering, why do I have special um, looking things here? Whereas the regular flip out antennas and this controller was modified by my buddy Tuan Lee. I'll link him below as well on his Facebook channel. Uh, Tuan is a local uh, drone hobbyist who's also a genius when it comes to fixing issues on your drones and um, doing modifications and installing modifications. So let me grab the um, mod and I'll show you more about it. So the smart controller modification is made by Alien Tech. Um, Alien Tech is a company, is a Chinese company, I believe. And uh, here is more details of this modification. And today, this is gonna be a two-part video, mainly because I don't know if my audio is coming out really good or not. I am using this Rode Wireless Go, but it is, it is extremely windy. So today's video is gonna be mostly introducing this modification over to you guys, letting you know more about it, showing you how it works, and um, gonna be flying with it. So I am interested in making another follow-up second video to this, where I do a range test um, of this controller. So I might want to do standard, I might want to do a standard DJI controller versus this controller here and really show you the range distance. But this is the controller um, as it is without, you know, this is the controller here with the modification installed. Um, it does add a little bit of more bulk as you can see here because of this um, controller uh, antenna and they have two versions of these I believe one is powered by a battery one is not powered by a battery this is the one that is not powered by the battery um, but it just has a installation here um, and I have to say in New York City when I first got this controller one of my biggest pain points was distance and range I mean not even talking about long distance I wasn't able to go for example Long Island City area is the area that I love to fly and I wasn't even able to go over the East River without losing in connection immediately I mean I was just dropping connection a thousand feet out I would get the message you know drone signal um, lost and will return will activate return to home so it was very frustrating so I, I linked up with my buddy Tuan and he installed this modification for me as well and after getting this modification this smart controller it is such a beauty it is fantastic you get full reception full bars on your drone and your controller um, and you don't see any of those issues now if you do fly in groups such as I do with other people this antenna here may kill the signal strength of, of others so you may get some unhappy drone flyers that might be with you some drone buddies and they'll get kind of pissed off because this thing here overpowers everyone else that's how strong it is but um, it is you know really fantastic I, don't, I hope this audio sounds good it is windy look at this I don't know if you can see 
it is windy. I don't even know if I'll be able to fly. But anyway, I, I digress. Back to my point. Um, one of the things that I have to leverage when using my smart controller is this cheap lanyard. It is found on Amazon and eBay. I think I paid $10 for it. But, you know, this is irrelevant to the video, but I just want to share this with you guys. It makes such a big difference in securing your investment because this controls, what, 600 bucks or whatever it is. The last thing you want to do is drop this thing, damage the screen, and then, you know, send it out to DJI or a third party to repair. I'm sure it's going to cost you even more money. Today I will be flying with the Mavic Pro 2. Um, not sure if I'm gonna do much flying. I really wanted to do a range test, but the wind, actually, let me pull up the UAV app here now and see um, the wind conditions. Let's see, actually it's saying not good to fly. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it there. Is it in focus? Yes, it is. Not good to fly. Wind gusts are 22 miles per hour. Um, yeah, it is windy guys. It is gusting really bad. I might take it up, test it out, but I'm not going to go too far, not too high either. Um, but just for the demonstration of this video, I really wanted to do a range test. Like I said earlier, between this controller and the DJI stock controller, but won't be able to do that because of the wind conditions today. Can't really take it that far. But again, going back to the drone, I am flying with the Mavic Pro 2 today and uh, going to show you initial setups because there is something a little different that you have to do with the smart controller that you really don't have to do with the standard controller. So let me power this thing on and take you through that. So it's really simple. You just press the power button here. It takes you to the DJI um, logo. It'll take you to the main screen. There are a few firmware updates and I'm sorry, my screen is dirty. There are a few firmware updates um, that this smart controller has gone through. However, I have not updated the smart controller as of yet. But as you can see, Mavic 2 Go, this is your Just Go app. And uh, one of the cool things about this is the ability that you can install, the ability of recording your screen. So you can do screen recording and you can install a micro SD card right there and also record your screen, which I've never done. And I'm gonna see now if I'm able to do that as well. This the controller does have Bluetooth. It does have Wi-Fi. You can sync your Wi-Fi over, um, tether your phone to the controller, and you can do those live streaming and all that other good stuff. You can get updated maps. And um, I don't know where it is to, to do a screen recording, but let's just bypass that, I guess. So once you turn on your, your DJI smart controller, you go over to your menu. Um, it's going to check the version. It's going to say inconsistent firmware, precise fly safe update, ignore. I don't want to update now. And uh, you can just click go fly. And here it is. There it is. I have to calibrate because I'm standing on this pier here and there's a lot of metal as well as, um, you know, I'm not. I'm overexposed, obviously, because I have to go through my settings. But one of the things that you must do while um, using the smart controller with this modification is you have to go to your antenna and you have to go to your antenna. I'm sorry, you have to go to your controller settings once I find that and you have to select, there it is. You have to go to your controller settings. You have to go to channel mode. You have to select custom and then you must select your own channel. Um, it, it, you have to select a custom channel. You can't go, you can't use auto on auto's channel um, because then you might not get the signal that you're looking for. So that's one of the few, that's one of the pain points I would say 
of having this modification is the fact that you just have to go and select what channel you're going to be flying in and uh you know do a little search around the area and make sure you get the best reception but let me take this thing up in the air for a little bit get a little bit of b-roll footage for this video definitely not doing the range test today because of the wind but i will be uploading a second video where i'll share with you um the the the, the range between this and the standard stock controller Every new location we go to, we gotta calibrate. Let's do this DJI dance now again one more time. So right now the wind is still gusting. It appears to be a little bit better. I'm not getting any high wind warnings on the drone, but like I said, gonna not gonna really go far. Just really gonna do a little bit of uh, flying around, get some B-roll for this video. As I fly my Mavic Pro 2, I really wish that I can really show you guys my screen and do a screen sharing. Matter of fact, I might just figure it out for the next flight, but I really wish I can show you um, the reception on this and show you how great it is as I maneuver through this high magnetic interference area. We have the bridge, you have the park, you have these tall buildings, and it is just handling really well. As a matter of fact, right now, I'm not even facing the drone. The drone is behind me, and I do have um, my buddy here as my uh, visual observer keeping me in check, but... Um, you know it's just this this modification guys is really well worth it let me know in the comments below i'm gonna keep this one short if you are interested in finding out more about this um smart controller and definitely guys look forward to the range test that i will be doing shortly in my next upcoming video where it's not really windy and um where it's not really windy and I can get do that test the way I really want to do it. So until next time, thank you for watching and I appreciate any comments you may drop below. Please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.